What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Chase and Iowa Outdoors. Zach from Deeply Driven Outdoors and I went turkey hunting this morning and unfortunately we had some kind of luck but not so much and we ended up decided to go uh, fishing this evening. So it's about six o'clock right now. We've got a little bit of a drive to get to uh, where we're meeting at but I got plugged all into the GPS. It's a spot I've never been to before. We got some rain showers up to the north of us, but we're gonna see if we can get after some cats. So stay tuned. Just showed up and Zach's already got one on. Good one. Yeah, he's probably. I got a. I got my whisker seeker scale in my box. Can I use that? Jeez, man. Uh, if you need a testament to how good these whisker seeker hooks are, there gosh, you go. He's in there. There's <laughs> no way he was getting off of that hook. Are you down here? You're covering. Kind of a little swirl. All right. So you see where this starts to dip this sandbar points out uh -huh. and the current kind of jetties out that way yep right here, right? this is the eddy yep the current seam i was kind of right on the edge of the current seam off of this and they kind of cats have been seeming to like kind of out towards that post right there the far right post yeah but on this side of the current you see you see what i mean where the current on the right is? side yeah okay. closer to us i would say Yeah, right there, perfect. Never not coming down here without climbing. He's really messing with it. He might be on there. He's a real bad He's a big Just a little guy. Are you serious? He ate a shiner? He ate a full shiner. <laughs> and all wrapped up in the ring. Oh, fish on. Yeah, buddy. He's not a dinker, but he's not huge. That is a loud dog I've got. What is that, buddy? What is that? Look out. Look out. That's fish number four for the night. Yeah, little sucker. Here we go, my first fish of the night. One just got that sheep head. A little dirty, but we got one. You didn't want to use them as bait, did you? Finally got my first fish. All like, set up here, just and uh, just hanging out. Well, we're out here catfishing tonight. Our setup's kind of right down in here, and all of a sudden, the skies opened up on us. Yeah, Zach and Nicole and Noel over there. We got a few fish that were keepers, but uh, I think we're gonna call it a night with that. This rain. And uh, we're gonna head back to Zach's place and Nicole's place. We're gonna clean up those two fish that we got. And uh, yeah. All right guys, I'm here with Zach from Deeply Driven Outdoors and we are here cleaning some fish. We are taking care of them properly. And then we're gonna get them all cleaned up, ready to go. We're gonna do a little catch, clean and cook for you guys. I have not had catfish in probably four years, unfortunately. I'm like a catfish ambassador. I'm 
all about i think these are one of the best eating fish i'm really excited i mean my family just didn't grow up eating this kind of stuff and i am very very excited to try these tonight and uh zach caught a couple good ones i caught a drum so i mean i'm an expert angler being able to catch drum not really <laughs> next time maybe but uh we're gonna get these things all cleaned up we're gonna get them what are we doing tonight for we're doing a cold special recipe uh it's a beer batter but the list of spices on it is about as long as my arm okay so it's so we're not gonna name them all well no not necessarily but okay. we can uh we'll ask nicole what her special recipe is here in a second when we get to the kitchen Good deal. Cool. Yeah, We're yeah. gonna get these all cleaned up and ready to go. Find you secrets what are you doing with that batter it's not well i mean nothing about it's secret i just don't do recipes i just kind of mix stuff together so every batch is a little bit different um but i just it's flour a few cups of flour and then i just mix in a bunch of spices lots of lemon pepper um cumin paprika salt and pepper garlic powder onion powder, whatever sounds good. And it's a beer batter? Yeah, well, I, I do the dry mix and I'll do a bunch of it at once um, so that we just kind of have it ready to go and then just keep it in a, you know, airtight container. And then when we're ready to bake it or when we're ready to do catfish, I'll uh, crack an egg in a bowl, put a little bit of beer in there and whisk it to kind of get the egg frothy and then put in as much dry as I feel like I need to do for the amount of fish that I'm making. And then I just keep whisking in um, beer until I get the consistency. So the biggest thing is the consistency. Um, and you want it to be like, I don't know if you can zoom in, but you want it to be like thick enough that it, it holds its, it doesn't like, it's not like liquid where it's just gonna immediately go liquid, but it's not like holding its shape either. I don't know how to describe that, but it's, so it's, it's not really a solid and it's not really a liquid. It's a paste. It's a paste, yeah. Um, the egg is really important for getting the fish to stick, or the batter to stick on the fish. We played with this for a long time. We did. That was the, we, we, we messed some batches up on that. Um, the egg, it would, without the egg in it, it just falls right off the fish. Um, so, and then if it's too thick, again, it's going to fall off because it's too clumpy. If it's too thin, you won't have enough batter on there. So you just kind of kind of play with it, decide what your preferences are. Um, we go like just enough spice to get some flavor, but we don't normally do spicy. Um, but we'll do a little bit of cayenne or chili pepper in there. And then we're just frying it in vegetable oil until it gets like a good golden brown to it. We also learned um, that it's really important to do like, I wouldn't call them nuggets necessarily, but they're more like the size of like a nice big chicken strip or something like that. We were trying to do like these big fillets for a long time and they wouldn't cook in the middle. Um, and so you'd pull them out and it'd still be raw. Nobody likes raw fish. So, unless it's in sushi, but that's different than fried fish. Raw fish and fried fish is no good. So, yeah. You have a two-parter sauce there in the mayo jar, I'm guessing. Let's see. Which one do I want? No, the ones that are all falling apart. Yeah, those are good. Let me get your reaction to this brush. All right, so Colton has had catfish like once, and he said he's basically just had it all basic before. 
This oh, yeah. is Nicole's special recipe. It wasn't anything like this. I mean, it wasn't beer batter or nothing, but this looks absolutely delicious. So, holy crap! All right, that's amazing. Good. Good. That was really good. Cool. We're gonna do some more catch clean cooks because Dude. we do a lot more. That right there is incredible. So, holy smokes. Perfect. If you liked today's episode, drop a like down below, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.